<laughs> Mabu, hey. Welcome to IMHO. <laughs> Now I can't. What the <laughs> fuck? Now I, I'm scared what? to move. No, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> our microphone is sensitive and she's wearing a lot of skirt. And I just said, try not to move your skirt. And now she's sitting bare ass on this <laughs> bench. And she's just, you don't have to be bare ass. Just like here, when you tell stories, I think it's so charming and it's flirty. You play with your fabric and I love that. But then when I'm editing I got it, that from you. I, that's so nice. You do that. Do I? Yeah. It's because my arms are I beautiful. think it's so feminine and dainty. Like when we would do two queens singing mm. and you would be like talking, setting up your song or whatever, you would just kind of like look down and like mess with your skirt. And I think it's cute. God, I'm so charming. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Darby. I'm Alexis P. Bubbles. The P, oh wait. You have one. Oh, the P today stands for pot stirring, which is a deep tease. We're gonna get into it a little bit later. It is so important to stir your pot and yeah. but it'll never boil. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm Can I good. share a frustration with you? Is it at towards no, about me? No, no, not me? at all. Not at yes, all. Yes, please go. I love frustration. Because I don't feel like that. If I had a frustration about you, I don't feel like I'd have to ask your permission to share because you shared yeah. whatever that was that caused the frustration. So I'm just giving you back what you gave me. <laughs> yeah. We call that verse. Major T. Oh, oh, listen. Leash your dog. If you're outside, your dog needs to have a leash. I don't care how your dog behaves around you, around your family, because it doesn't matter. It's, can you control your own dog from getting close to other dogs without a leash? The answer is always no. I don't care if your neighbor is Caesar Milan. Is that his name? C Caesar Milan. Yeah. Fucking put a leash on your dog. Okay, there's this woman. I'm deeply offended by her. She lives somewhere in this neighborhood. Based on her behavior, she lives in a basement. Oh! Which, no, I mean, living in a basement is totally fine. It's not ideal. Anyway, but she, she's a sewer woman. She lives in the sewer! <laughs> she has this dog, and the dog is perfectly fine. But when she walks him at night, the dog is never on a leash. But you know what the dog does have? Glow sticks. She puts a glow stick necklace around its neck at night. Okay, attach so, uh, a leash to that Attracting dumb bitch. the coyotes to the dog. Well, well, that's true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My husband has already had a few run-ins with her and you know, like JB is friendly to people and she's friendly enough to dogs until she's not. And she's never bitten another dog, but she does get a little <laughs> We used to say, oh, she gets loud. Cause I hate saying she's not friendly cause she is friendly, but now I, I'm tired of it. So now I just automatically, I go, she's not friendly. The, she's gloves, not friendly. the gloves are off, you would say? Technically, if I yeah. could take them off, I would. So anyway, so Curtis tells me that like this woman is in this dog and she's calling the dog. The dog's ignoring her as it's just walking towards JB. There is nothing more infuriating. Like I get hot, fiery mm. anger mm -hmm. when people are going, Bitsy, Bitsy, stop. The dog doesn't know what you're you know, saying. You know, what? you know what its name is? Bitsy? No, it's Layla. Layla McQueen, amazing drag queen. Yeah. Layla the dog, sweet. Layla the dog the owner, the dog the owner, a bitch. Person who named dog Layla? A sewer rat. Absolutely not. Anyway, so Curtis is telling me about this woman and I'm like, I hope I never see her. And then literally the next day, I'm like, you know what, babe? You look so comfortable on the couch. I'll take the dog out before bed. Like I was feeling, I was doing my part. Are you okay? No. So I take the dog out, I see her. No, I see the glow sticks. Oh, and I'm like, God. Fuck, I'm coming down the stairs. We're about 20 feet away from each other, right? The dog turns, starts to walk towards us. And I say very loudly, she's not friendly. You know what her response was? Oh, oh I, I know. know. Yeah. I know? Okay. So why and don't I said, you have I said, your dog on a leash? Right. And then she goes, Layla. Layla. And the dog's just walking, walking, walking. And I'm just backing me and JB up to the point of the road. We're about to move into traffic. Well, it's midnight, there's no traffic, but we're about to move into where traffic usually is. The woman's not moving, the dog is moving. And I just said, hey, can you get him? Can you get him? No, she's not friendly. She's not friendly. And then it was finally when I put my arm in front of JB's face that the woman came over and grabbed the dog. Then. The next day, daytime, I'm walking JB and a woman turns the corner and this giant Doberman is off leash. But 
to her credit, she says heel, the dog immediately goes to her side. And we're doing something with Fine. JB that whenever a dog is approaching, we have her sit. And she just sits and the dog passes by and whatever. And JB's really good at it. Like I'm so impressed with her because you know, dogs, their brains so smooth. As they're like six feet away from us, right? The dog suddenly turns and starts to walk towards us. So I said, oh, she's not friendly. And the woman goes, and I was like, no. She's not friendly. And this time there is traffic. There's nowhere for me to go. So what do I do? I have to put my fucking arm in front of the dog again. And it wasn't until I put my arm in front that the woman goes, oh, heel. And then the dog fucked off. Now, she could have had headphones in that were so small I couldn't see them or whatever. No. But again, she didn't. Don't this is let the your problem. dog come to no. other dogs. This is the problem. I love dogs. They are pure innocent souls. It yes. is not their fault. It's not their fault. But listen, they're dumb. And you may control them. You and may be dumb. able to say sit or whatever, but you can't have it off leash and call yourself a good, competent pet owner in busy areas with traffic and with other dogs around. Yeah. You simply cannot do you that. Just simply and can't. for that matter, you can't bring your fucking dog into a store and let it roam around off leash. Oh, I love that though. Because no. you off want the leash? dog to be able to no. feel like a human. It's like they're shopping. Absolutely. No, not. I agree. I agree. You I don't fucking think, can't. And I'm a dog person. I love dogs, but I don't think any dog should ever be off leash because unless it's in a dog this. park because there's hey, you cannot Mitzi's control mom, the environment around. This. A squirrel runs in front of Mitzi and it, Mitzi says, Oh, that's a squirrel and it runs after the squirrel right yeah. into traffic and yeah. fucking dies. What are you going to say to, or Layla, what are you going to say to Layla then? She's going to say this. Come here, Layla. Layla come here. Layla, come Why here. Why aren't you getting up? Layla, come here. It's literal skid marks on the ground. <sighs> Listen, I hold no ill will towards the animals. And I hold no ill... It's kind of like children. No, I can't lie. On their... I hate that woman. No. And, no, no, no. Next time... Some people don't deserve dogs. We have to make a plan. Some people don't deserve we children. We have to make a plan. We have to make a plan. And both of those things need to be kept on leashes. When I go and out... And out of my area. When I take Please. puppy out at night and I see her again, I will stay on the stairs this time. Because I can see them from the stairs and I'll say, hey, get your dog. Get your dog. You know you should say? Jesus, I can't believe you don't have a leash for your dog. I would like to be that condescending, but I just don't have that strength within me. This is what I said to the woman in the daytime, right? When she finally calls her dog. She goes, oh, heel. Sorry about that. And I went, huh, that's okay. Because I'm me. And then I went, when she was out of my eyesight. I'm such a bitch. I can't do it. I'm so Here's I'm too nice. Here's the thing. I don't like conflict. People need to be held accountable and people need to like, wait, what is it? What am I trying to say? You know what? They know what I mean. Yeah. Ooh, the courage to be disliked. Okay. Community. We live in a community and you have to, mm, that's something I you need have to, to think of other people. You have to care for other people. And I don't feel like those people are thinking of the other people in their community. That's the crux of it. That's why it's so frustrating is because they're not. Because right now I should be talking about all the weird farts I had yesterday, but instead I'm talking about these women and their dogs. Not, I mean, it's not women, you know what I mean. I wanna talk about farts, but I can't because I have to talk about Layla, yeah. the dog, not the drag queen. I love the drag queen. Oh, she's, she's kind of a she's... bitch though. Oh, but in a funny way. Yeah. Anyway, how was you, how's your week? <laughs> you have dog? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. See, I was an irresponsible dog owner and I did the responsible thing and, and gave put it, it down. Uh, put it to a better home. Oh. No, I didn't put it down. It's at my parents' house. That's what they told you. He went to a he, nice house. He's retired. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we get started? Well, wait. I want to answer my question. Yeah. Oh, how was my week? That was fine. Okay, good. We are headed back to the Philippines and, um... There was a lot of drama. Yeah, a lot of pot stirring. Lo Pee for pot stirring. That's why you said it. Yeah. Okay. Varushka stirred the pot. So we had a little moment of reconciliation with Jade So and Cat Cat, and then they were like, well, actually, it was Varushka that even brought this whole thing up because it maybe wouldn't have gotten as heated as it would have. The cat if it hadn't. Can been. I ask you, how did you feel about the Jade Cat Cat? I guess, what would you call it? Apologies? Not sort of? Uh, I think. 
Mm -hmm. I think, um... And I, I think, too. You know, they all come back the next day and they all have to apologize for all the things they said the time yeah. before so they can kind of start afresh. Mm -hmm. I think that's just kind of a TV trope, a reality TV trope that, yeah. that you have to do. But then maybe, like, there was some light shade and then she got embarrassed and then it was like she, nine of them believed each other and then... Missed the point a little. Missed the point, yeah. right. I'm team I like everyone, what Jade. I like what Jade I like said Jade about... How, yeah, yeah, but like, I, I forgive, I forget, but I have a wall with you now and that's healthy but that's like a, yeah like a like a low wall a garden wall a a garden. garden wall yeah yeah we need more gardens in this world yeah built surrounded by walls is that why what's a garden wall i think it's just like a shorter wall than like a regular wall yeah oh. although sometimes like you ever seen the secret garden no. those walls are big you ever seen the movie Secret Garden? Mm mm. The like nineteen ninety eight like eight version I've or got whatever. Too many secrets as it is. It is a really good movie. What are the secrets though? Um, Would you classify them as major T? Or? I don't think he was a major. I think he was like a corporal or something in the British Army, but in India, so like. Not great. I Here have to take go. my gloves off. Listen, we said this to the Patreon. We're taking a break from nails because we need to take care of our nails. Yeah, we're taking it. We're so I'm trying to the do new gloves. thing right now is self caring for your nails. I don't know nails. how Juno Birch does this. I think she wears or lunch rubber ladies gloves. These either. are full like vinyl. They're hot. So the mini challenge this week is teeny cling. It's like a bamboo jumping game. Don't get your mm. feet touched. It looks so fun. It does look fun. And it was like whoever's got through it the longest wins. We got a good look at our pit crew. Oh my god. Do you remember last season? This might be inappropriate. We're gonna have to cut this. Do it. Do you remember last season when there was that one pit crew member who was like fully chubbed up? Yeah, the whole time. And then he went on Twitter to say, yeah, I was chubbed up. I wanted to look big on camera. Yeah. Which I respect. Well, and he had I a device, right? He cock ringed or whatever. Oh, I'm sure they all do. Yeah, sure, why not? And just an observation, I feel like they were padding this season. I feel like they were, they were all covered. I like wieners i love wieners i love a wiener but like i'm not looking at that when i see the pit crew i want to see their pecs and i want to see them bounce and we had tall hot pit crew member the tallest of them all he got to do it and he got to do it and all the girls got super horny and i and that was so fun i felt like i was part of the cast in that yeah. moment i feel like this happens all the time on every series when they tell them okay you have 15 minutes to go put on whatever costume this is oh yeah some of them look Balin, so sorry i thought i knew how to say this balan to walk balan to walk i tried they're given this list of looks to prepare for the show and some of them unfortunately are mini challenges and they don't know that and some of those looks were so gorgeous bernie's especially because she's so tiny and it was so grand as everyone's like playing the game and like jumping around you just see this tiny little bernie and this gorgeous costume down, and hair down. and she's holding her skirt just like well i guess this is all i'm doing with it but to her credit she, she had looks. photos made in that because that was gorgeous. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Don't make her jump around in that. Let her walk the runway. Right. Can you just like let her in the, unlock the door, let her walk down there. Yeah, but apparently we have one person who wins many challenges. She is the Lucy DeLuca of the Philippines. And we have Matilda. Matilda. Again, she's won every single one, except for the episode she didn't well, appear in. You know, right? Be better to the other Cat people. Cat said she's one mini challenge win away from a repeater bench because <laughs> <laughs> of the money she keeps winning. She's about to like make as much money as one challenge win. They find out, hey, it's the snatch game. It's the snatch game. Now it's so interesting mm -hmm. seeing. We've seen it before, in, like, and we'll see in, it like, again. The other ones, like it's really interesting. But the thing you have to remember about watching a snatch game in a language that's not your own is that it's important to look at the reaction of the people around you know what i mean so like i may not get the joke or the reference necessarily but i can tell that it landed by you know laughter or clapping there's a lot of clapping in the snatch game that i thought was really fun to be fair a majority or maybe not a majority but a lot of it was in english except for the stuff that meryl streep said currently we're also reviewing mexico right and we did not review the snatch game portion of mexico because we didn't know any of the references at all but this one at least we had Adele, we had, Adele. We had we Miranda had Priestley, Miranda Priestly. we had Jennifer Coolidge, kind Again, of, and sort of, we had, and then even all the ones we didn't fully understand, like at least it was like, okay, one's a psychic, one's a social media person, one's the mayor. It was, I don't know, it was easier to understand. But can I ask you this? Mm -hmm. Did you LOL? Yeah, I did. When? 
I did. Um, when? I thought it was kind of hilarious and brilliant. I maybe wasn't laughing at the things she wanted me to, but I was laughing so hard at Adele, how she would just sing <sighs> one word. <laughs> Yeah, when she... <laughs> and her accent was, I mean, that crazy. doesn't matter. It was nuts. <laughs> but so good. I, I was laughing so hard because <laughs> she was like, all right, I'm going to do a new song. Do you want to hear it? Nipple or whatever. Yeah, it was like, nipple. It was nipple. Well, and Hannah, Hannah wasn't doing a great job. However, she got very lucky to sit behind Adele. <laughs> yeah. Because she turns around, she does nipple, and she makes it a collab. So then suddenly, Han is saved by that. Yeah. yeah. I am, uh, I just want to say, again, I am so charmed by Hannah's talking heads. I adore yeah. Hannah. She was like, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. You know, like, throughout <laughs> the whole thing. And then nipple happens, and yeah. then boom. And in fact... She freed she, the nipple. She freed the nipple and freed herself. She was safe because yeah. of that. So she owes Adele a lot, but Arizona owes Adele an apology. But it's the Arizona we've seen on the runway, right? Like the first time we met her and she's talking to the judges and she's talking a mile a minute. It was so insane that eventually you do kind of laugh. No, I thought you don't it was know why. so funny. I thought she was great. Cat Cat, even though I don't fully know the reference. Oh no, I thought Cat Cat was great. I thought Cat Cat was, was so funny. Ovi Cat was really yeah. funny. Ovi was so funny. Yeah. Obviously the biggest stinker was Dee Dee. I don't know what was going on with her. I don't I think Barushka was the biggest stinker. I don't know Mano Pacquiao's fucking mom. I don't know that woman. So it was just like she kept making the same joke about wanting to go to the airport. Like, whatever, I didn't care. But yeah. Dee Dee doing Meryl Streep and then doing Jennifer Coolidge. And Jennifer Coolidge is the easiest person to do. James Mansfield can do it. Like, it's easy. Let's see. And to not be able to do that. Oh, I could do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I was hoping you would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's copyrighted. That's all I can do. Oh, that's so that's pretty good. good. Hi. Who was it that said one of the funniest things I've heard? Was it Ovi Cunt who said, I'm just telling you how yes and works? She said that to somebody. She said that to Varushka because Varushka was kept on cutting people off. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if it was Ovi Kant. Somebody said it. It's, she was like, that's how yes and works. It and sounds it, like Ovi Kant because at the beginning of the episode, she was the one that called her out for the whole Jade Cat Cat stuff. And then the next day when they're back in the workroom getting ready or whatever, she again calls her out. Ovi Kant was not taking Varushka's bullshit. Well, I'm on Ovi's side. I was same. Oh, I loved it. Let, uh, let us Let's go to the runway. Now, what do you think? Let me get my phone. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Mama Pow. Here's the thing. Do it. I liked it. Yeah. Thought the pants felt a little weird, but I didn't care. She was trying to do like 70s kind of gem in the holograms, like rock spaceman suit. But the hair was just a little disappointing for me. See, I agree the overall look of the hair wasn't my favorite, but I'm so happy that most of the wig was dark. I really want her to get away from this blonde era she's going through. She just looks so much better with dark hair. Somebody posted a clip from the first season. I mean, yes, her face has changed a lot as well, but she had a very polished, gorgeous look in season one. And season two, of course, play with your style, but s stop, sometimes stop, play stop playing. Don't it. play. Don't play, baby, don't play. Oh, and also, I just wanna say, Jiggly Caliente has never looked better. Oh, she looks so gorgeous. She was painted by Prince. Hell Prince. yeah. Season one's Prince painted her. Stamped. What the fuck? That was... The shoes of season one stamped. Incredible. Jiggly Caliente. She took face. all of her shoes, yeah. threw them at Jiggly's face, and it all worked out. So this category is food. La la la. I think it's so called. So I'm cheeseburger and your napkin. Ooh la la realness. I should probably Ooh get la you dirty, realness. right? Yeah, I'm the napkin that the cheeseburger came in. Let me wipe in. my mouth. No! That was so <laughs> loud. <laughs> Miss Jade So looking so gorgeous. Looking so gorgeous. She's a rice cake, a cooked rice cake. She looks amazing. Yeah, she. There, we're gonna see amazing runways from her. I'm excited for more. Bernie looked so cute. What was this like a fish market thing? It's a sidewalk, sidewalk sale, sidewalk, sidewalk food. grill. I loved it. Yeah, and you know, in a. I love we Bernie. We love food on the side of the road, so yeah. I was in. I'm in. I haven't had food on the side of the road in a while. 
We can change that. I'll drop you off on the side of the road tonight. Arizona Brandy, she was like... Hot meat oh. plate. It's the grill, you know, like a hot grill. You put the meat on it, and then you sit around, and you drink while you grill up your own meat. Oh, sour that's, meat hot Yeah, plate. that's yeah, what yeah. it was. It's, I like this. I think it's pretty. I thought it was really pretty, too. I did, once the judge, the little tiny, little cute little tiny judge from Snatch Game, mm -hmm. little, little tiny, he was like, the grill, it's greasy, it's dark. So to see mostly white, I don't... I, I agreed with that note. Get a greasy baby. No, no, no. Fall in some grease. Grills start white. They come white. So she just hadn't done the grilling part yet. That's not true. Have you ever been to Weber Grill? Did you used to work at Weber Grill? No, I worked Why at- Why is that in my mind? I used to work at the Melting Pot, which was right by the Weber Grill. It's basically the same in thing. In Chicago, River North. I found it so charming that Weber Grill put grill they had a real grill hanging off the side of their building. And you could buy grills there. You could also, in that restaurant. And you could put... No. Yeah. You go eat at a restaurant and you leave with a grill. If you want to buy one, yeah. But grills are very expensive. The United States is wild. Yeah. I used to work at that melting pot in River North. I did so much coke there. That's why you think grills are white. Because you would put the lines on the grill. That was coke, baby. Dee Dee Marie Holiday, she was like mung beans. It gave me like lizard scale vibes. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I, I thought the fit was a little. I loved though that when, I think it was Khaled Karen made the note of like, if you're gonna do mung bean, we need more than just the bean. Can you add something to it? Like, oh yeah, the tomatoes and the tomatoes, and all tomatoes all whatever. It. Yeah. And then she's like, I'm very proud of this outfit because young gay kids helped me make this and I'm just really proud. Cause like, what are you supposed to say to that? You know, like the judges can't be like, like, oh, well, I still hate it. Yeah. Well, young gay kids did it, you bitch. <laughs> that was, yeah. to me, that was so smart. Oh, you might not like it, but it really helped bring the community together. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, oh, actually, I really like it now. Yeah. What would you do? What? Hamburger. I would do this exact costume when they say, that looks like a Halloween costume. I'd be like, yeah, I shouldn't be here. I would do a bowl of chili, but I would just fill a kiddie pool with chili beans and then like roll it out and then get in it. I'd be like Dita Von Teese in the martini glass, but it would be chili. And instead of bubbles, it's just fart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ovi cunt, bitch. Oh my God. Yeah, I need to take a break. Hold on. Your noises have gotten louder. You are extra sensitive to them because you listen to them twice, multiple times. Fair. <laughs> and I hate them both times. Ovi Kunt in this stunning look. Muscles. She didn't even have to muscle her way through this competition. Right? Because this look was muscles? so good. Yeah, these are muscles and Alexander McQueen reference. Uh, and I didn't even Obsessed. catch it until Tiny Little Baby Judge said, I love, like, you see the story instantly because her skirt kind of looked like net. netting. Yeah. Bitch. No, you her like... Mind. Yeah. You like... Um, Muscles. I do. When I can see them through a t-shirt. <laughs> Hanabeshi. Oh, yeah. I liked this. I thought it was simple, but I liked it. I... Yeah, I didn't fully... I didn't have... Um, yeah, I liked it. I don't know what it is by looking at it, but I'm I thought it was pretty. I'm charmed by her. And I liked so the I think movement. I, I think I forget a lot. I like when a But in her talking moves. head, she's like, yeah, and then I have this long train for drama. And I'm like, yes, Hannah, you could do whatever you want, babe. Now, Matilda, she was a disco ball with a fish on it. And <laughs> Which is, it's very popular in the Philippines, eating food off of a disco ball. Off of a disco ball. I don't ball. know if you knew that. Well, I, maybe they're like pinatas there. Like you crack it open and inside is a bunch of fish. Maybe. I mean, I did like the look. It was cool, but it didn't have much to do with the... Yeah. It was just like a fish on an outfit. It was weird. Yeah. Her makeup. Oh, or maybe, though, or maybe though, it's like, you know how some fishes hang on to whales and sharks and like clean them? Maybe it was like that. I wouldn't want to eat that fish, though. You want to eat a cleaner fish? Gross. Do you have a favorite fish? Yeah. It's the same to me. Oh, to, to eat? Yeah. I love seafood. You do? I love seafood. I should know that. I love seafood and I like all of it. When I was a child, young, young, so young, I'm from the South, so we ate fried catfish all the time. I have a story I want to tell about catfish. Perfect. I mean, I've never been catfished. I'm, I'm a genius. Actually, that's not true. I drove all the way to Atlanta, Georgia and got catfished. Anyway, we were eating catfish and one day I bit and I got the fried part and then the like, the silvery, the skin? The skin freaked me the fuck out. I thought something had gone terribly wrong. And now I was getting silver poisoning, which is not, that's 
I, I made that up as a dumb child. And I wouldn't eat catfish for Tin years. Man. Really? It wasn't until I was in college that I said, oh, you were being dumb. Catfish is delicious. But My mom's dad, who died when I was very young, we called him Papa. Papa? Papa. I don't remember. I don't oh, remember. I really said close. it really close. He would go fishing, and one time he bought a bunch of catfish, and he laid them all out to show everyone, like, look how good I am. I caught I all catfish. these catfish. Yeah. And then I was like, mm, attention, being paid to someone other than me? I don't think. So I laid down with the catfish, like, in size order. And so he started calling me catfish, and that was my nickname. And then you got catfished professionally. Now I have been catfished quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. That's why. Maybe that's why they're all, say they're on oil rigs, because catfish, you know what I mean? They're oily. Listen, if you have a feeling that someone might be a catfish, you need Send to have- Send them to me, because it, I know she'll exactly what to do. She'll fall in love. No, you, uh, need to have a, you need to have a backup at all times, which is what I did when I drove to Atlanta, Georgia, eight hours to Atlanta, Georgia, to meet someone who turned out to be a catfish. And when he did, I just called up my backup guy. He put oh, doors fun. He put doors on BMWs. That was his job. BMWs? So what do you think his body looked like? Hot. Yeah. But thin legs. His pubes were so soft. <gasps> Conditioner? <laughs> I don't know, but it freaked me out. I mean, not, I still came. Not like catfish. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just quit, since we're here, let's just quickly go over on what you do if you think you're being catfish. You never give any information out. You always have a fake email, a burner email, because what they do is they get into your email and then they get all through your stuff. And they burn your stuff. So create a separate email, you know, one for like coupons and, and get stuff. a second social security number, maybe like of a friend, use that one when they ask you for it. If you're using my social security number for things, that joke's on you because there is nothing good going on over here. Oh, okay. So her social security number is 514. Fruska Levels, she was like a spring roll. Well, she was dressed as something completely different and then she had a couple rolls going down her arm. Lumpia Wurzbach, yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't follow but, the assignment. Yeah. Okay, but captivating cat cat. Bitch. She pulled utensils out of her leg. Okay, when she uh. pulled those utensils out, I screamed alone yeah. in my room. I was so excited. Yeah, I went up for it for sure. That was so good. And then when she came down the runway and turned around and you saw that her train was the yoke, Rihanna rolled over in her grave. I Well, she's alive. I love camp. I love good campy looks. Camp on a Kiki Wishes. This was so cute. Darby. What? Darby. What? What? What is camp on a... No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everyone go watch Camp on a Kiki. It just oh yeah, they just finished season, season five, right? And season six is auditioning soon, I think. Maybe you should try it. Bitch. I loved this runway theme. I know. Food. And I thought a lot of the looks were really good. And even the ones that weren't in theme, I thought were really good still. I liked them. Runways are always fun in the Philippines. I don't think you'll ever find an episode while well, I say that. Let me think. I don't remember anything. I liked it a lot as well, and we, we have a winner. winner. The winner is Captivating Cat Cat. She won Snatch Game. Congratulations. Yeah, that's really big. You are um, super win. hot and good. You are winning. And you win. We do have a bottom two. Scratch that. We have a bottom three, bitch. Yeah. They said, sorry, you're all up for elimination. And Your those snatch people game was are so bad. Verushka Levels, Didi Holiday, and Matilda. Our mini challenge winner. Well, she's very very good at mini challenges. Yeah. Maxi challenges, she's working on it. Lip syncs, very good. Matilda's lip sync. Was so good. So good. It made me excited. She is definitely the lip sync assassin of the season. She's a strong, she's up there. Dee Dee did Burnout. really good too. I liked what Dee Dee was doing because she was kind of doing like the comedic take of it. I loved watching her interpretation. Arizona in her talking head goes, I was living for Dee Dee and Matilda. End of list. <laughs> Because <laughs> Varushka. Varushka, yeah. I don't really know what was going on there. Hot people shouldn't be allowed to do drag. I've been saying that for years. Go model or something like <sighs> Yeah. Tap dance. I don't care. Don't, well, drag. No, don't, don't drag tap dancing into this. Oh, yeah, that's true. Varushka was not on the same level as the other two. But we did get a really iconic line because what Varushka decided to do was prop work. She has a lot of confetti. Oh, yeah. At one point, she's <laughs> drawing new eyebrows on. She like blacks out one of her teeth. Which was... I don't know what was happening. Yeah. It was all so desperate and confusing to watch. But as she's doing the confetti, Cat Cat says, it looks like Barushka is in charge of Matilda's confetti. <laughs> <laughs> 
because Matilda is just performing the shit out of the song yes. while Varushka's just shooting confetti off. Yeah, it's and Dee Dee so was true. doing the slug across the room. <laughs> she did. <laughs> across she the did stage, just start to which was exciting. Drag her mung beans across um, the stage. This is a really exciting lip sync and a really good episode of Drag Race Philippines. Yeah. I was happy to watch this week. Well, and most excitedly, we get to say goodbye to Varushka. She yeah, is, it was her time. She's, she's too out. beautiful. She'll be fine. Bye. I also just don't think that she, I don't think she has enough experience in drag. If you got like close to her eyes and stuff, like her makeup really wasn't that great. Her oh. costumes seem to have been borrowed according to internet. Like I just, I don't know. Maybe just be hot. Maybe you be hot now. Or go back and keep working on it and be a dry, amazing drag queen nah, later. Nah, go be hot. If you would like to be hot with us next week, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Yes, and then also go to Patreon and there you'll find exclusive footage, never before seen content and a podcast. Also, we're on Cameo. So if you want a message from us to a loved one, a hated one or both, hit us up there. Yeah, or you could get a shamio by going to imeachothershow.com and you can get your own specialized episode. We say the most unhinged things on shamios. Yeah. It's gonna be the end of us. All of our merch is at dragqueenmerch.com. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. I saw a TikTok today that said to change your life, get up immediately. When you wake up, go straight to the bathroom. And if you brush your teeth with your right hand, brush your teeth with your left hand. And then say, I love you to yourself 10 times in the mirror. Okay, that sounds like a mental health crisis. And we all have it. And then I was brushing my teeth later and I was like, your teeth do look really white today. Thank you. I think it's the red. The red lips is canceling out how bloody your gums are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, since you brought up TikTok, I learned something on TikTok, okay? TikTok is, it's a fun place where you get to learn things from experts or from people who have fucked up like you have and then they learned the actual right thing. I saw a hot dentist. The fact that he's hot is not important. It's just, I felt like it should be included. I, I feel like more often than not, dentists are hot. Is that wrong to say? Are you attracted to my father-in-law? What does he look like again? Curtis, but older and has heart problems. Then yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Let me ask you this. Okay. What does the word penultimate mean? Penultimate. To me, it means the 11 o'clock number. It means the peak of the show before the ending. Like in Game of Thrones, the penultimate episode is like episode seven and then episode eight is the finale. So penultimate finale, is that correct? It's much closer to correct than, than I've ever been, yes. What did you think that. it means? Okay, me and Hot Dentist both thought, I thought penultimate, like that's the penultimate. I thought that was like the tops, your favorite, no, the best. No, because ultimate would be the ultimate. But penultimate, it's like saying Super Mario instead of just Mario. Like, yeah, I like, see that. He's still Mario, but he's super. So I thought like, it's still ultimate, but it's penultimate, like it's the ultimate. Anyway, the dentist was dentisting and guy in dentist chair goes, my molar hurts. And he said, which molar? And he said, the right side, it's the penultimate molar. And the dentist laughed and goes, ha 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 which one's your penultimate? Like, what's your favorite molar? And the guy's like, no, the penultimate molar. And he's like, and it was in that moment that I realized I didn't know what penultimate meant. And I'd been using it wrong my entire life. It means second to last. Oh. Well, I had no idea. Sense. That still makes sense. Second up to last, penultimate, yeah. Yeah, but can you imagine going to your dentist and being like, it's the penultimate molar on my right, and then him well, going, which one is that? You'd be like, what the fuck's going on? My mom went to a dentist once. Uh-oh. He was on so She should go more than once. <laughs> he had been on safari, and I don't know if I'm like cross-referencing stories and I'm thinking of Dick Cheney or whatever, but he was on safari and his jaw got shot off but he still, like his teeth got shot off and they reconstructed his jaw and gave him new teeth, but like his teeth came out, like his original ones. Did Is he that... keep them? I, I don't remember, them. I don't remember. When you have stuff removed from your body at a hospital, you know you have to like get permission to keep it. Yeah. It usually has to be like a religious exception, but isn't that wild? That yeah. like something I've owned my entire life, if like they took my arm, I'd have to like ask permission. I'd have to have like a court verified reason to keep my arm. You should keep your arm. Also, I know you don't love scaries, but I think you should see that movie Talk To Me. We almost saw it the other night. I think you would like it, actually. We almost saw it. Well, 
Curtis wanted it's to so see it. It's so clever and cool. Curtis wanted to see it, and we were. I was like, yeah, I'm down. And then I looked, and I realized, oh, warning, warning, hot, hot, warning, major warning. I was looking at the movie times to find out like when Talk To Me was playing, and then I saw Old Boy was playing. Now, Old Boy is a Korean action thriller movie. Mm -hmm. It's having its 20th anniversary this year. So they re-released it in theaters here this past week. Isn't it like, ban wasn't it like banned for a time yes. or something? Because it's so like lauded, it's like an amazing. Well, that's what I had heard. And you know, I'm a Korean drama girl. Yeah. So I was like going to a movie theater to watch a Korean movie. Absolutely, I'm there. Curtis, to his credit, because he's so nice. He asked no questions. He was like, yeah, I'll go. Bitch, it should be banned again. Why? <laughs> I don't, I, I can't tell you because I don't, if there is someone that wants to see, listen, it's, it's, mm, the style of the movie is interesting, okay? That, some of the action sequences are really fun. There is some sexual stuff. I can't tell you. I can't tell you it'll give it all away, but then there's a very disturbing sexual element, and it's not what you're thinking, I promise you it's not that you think is so insane and then two guys together and yeah it's disgusting <laughs> and it's also it's very misogynistic it is definitely mm -hmm. written by a man 20 years ago a straight man 20 years ago because you know gay guys can't be 2003 i'm just kidding 20, yeah a movie 20 years old is from 2003 correct and you could just tell. Post to Towers. And what was worse is there was like a bunch of like 20 something girls right in front of me. So as I'm watching this misogynistic shit, I was like, like I wanted to lean forward and be like, I, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't want to stop anyone from seeing it, but it's disturbing and I never ever want to see that movie ever again, ever. And then they remade it in 2013 in the States with Josh Brolin and I think Spike Lee. And I, I, I have no desire. I don't know what they did with all those fucked up stories. What is this? It's cute. Oh, I got this for my birthday from Sari. <gasps> Sari! She sent me this. Wow. It's, it's a little bracelet with charms on it that says, just a girl who loves pickles. And then the other charm is just a pickle wearing sunglasses. Isn't that cute? That's pretty. Okay, bye. Bye.